Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter. The way you get the newsletter, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see newsletters. You're going to go right to the opening call. You can view the opening call. You can, get the, you can hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month at $128. You can get it for six months. For $595, that's a savings of $173. You can get it for a year, folks, for $995, which is a savings of $541. And if you really want to get a savings, folks, bottom line, if you're at the front page of TFNN, you are going to see that we just launched the Tiger Dollar Sale for Memorial Day. Uh, we do this a couple times a year. Bottom line, this is a, you get up to a 40% bonus, Tiger Dollar Sales. Uh, you can get either 20%, 30%, a 40% bonus. Uh, you can use them uh, bottom line at all merchandise newsletters at TFNN, no expiration date, and they're totally transferable. And the way these work, uh, bottom line is you can uh, buy $500, you get $600 Tiger Dollars, which is a $100 bonus, or 20%. If you buy 1000 and above, you get a 30% bonus, so 1000 will give you 1300 and if you buy 1500 which is the max, you get 2100 So check it out, front page of TFNN, and of course, get our man Basil Chapman newsletter, the opening call. What's going on, Basil? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I hope you're going to send us up some decent weather. We haven't had oh. more than one. We had a beautiful day on Saturday, but other than that, oh. rain, rain, rain. That's Ooh. sad. Okay, well, we'll it send is. it up there, man, because we get some great weather. You know what's really crazy, folks, is that, you know, summer is coming, there's no doubt, but this whole week's going to be 82 degrees down here. So we've had a great <laughs> winter. It's like crazy. 82 degrees. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, and it's so, not human. Uh, well, yeah. I was just going to say, it's been raining on the market for a little while. Yeah. Uh, nice bounce today, but I'm, at least for me, I'm calling this a bounce. Okay. And what we're looking at is the uh, this arch formation, which is, um, in my work, it's very important. I'll just show this briefly here, a little recap. Core patterns in the Chapman Wave methodology, we try to identify the lowest low bar, and then merely count each successively higher peak. We want four peaks above the the low bar, that's yeah. label them alphabetically, goes to a D, it can go to E, F, and G, but D is where other things can happen. I consider that there are really only three, uh, two patterns in the market. It's either straight up and down, or it's the arch, or the cup formation, and sometimes you can get a combination of the two. So when we're looking at this, I'll take that away, and you'll see exactly what I'm looking at. See this arch formation in the Dow? So as it was running up, we were just about to go to a D, in the uh, Dow chart on the 22nd of April, we went short the Dow, and the, old, the recovery high was 26,695, 300 points, a little less than 300 points of the all-time high. The S&P had already done that. The Qs had already done that. So this was lagging, uh, but that was the reason why I thought this was the, a, a good short, because the MACD was failing in the daily chart. On the left is the daily. Now, the stochastic was starting to turn down, and there's that arch formation. Within that is a technique that I call Chapman Wave Inside Wedge. It gives you the target and the price, and it says if in a certain number of bars to the upside, you come down on the, on the downside, that's where you can start to look for a left side test. So we've got that test, the low that was made back on the, 20, on the 25th of March at uh, 25,372. We took that out decisively yesterday. We went under it to 25,222, and now we're having a, a bounce. So what I, I have a technique that I look at uh, every day, and, and yesterday it, it flashed to say that within two days, the E-mini should have a 9 to 11 point rally, which said, uh, so I was able to tell subscribers we can expect a nice bounce today. So we've got, the, I'm calling it a bounce at this particular point, and the reason is, if you look at the weekly chart, you can see there's a V-shaped formation, but within that there's an arching over. I don't believe this arch is going to go all the way down. I think we're really close in price at 25222 to at least a good part of this correction. I, th I think it's now going to be a little bit more time, and then we'll have another move to the downside. And one of the reasons I say that is that the MACD, which was very strong when I was talking to you just last week, I said, look how strong the daily, Mac, the weekly MACD is. Okay. Moving average convergence, divergence, one of the technical tools we use. And I said that within this context, there has to be a very sharp pullback 
to, to get that um, MACD negative. So we have to wait until Friday because it's a weekly chart. So far, it's very close uh, to turning, uh, crossing negative. Stochastic has gone to 81%. If it goes under 80%, then I'm looking at perhaps a deeper decline. So, so far, all the things we're looking at, we remain short. We've taken some profits on the downside. The other short that we had was the SMHs, which is the semiconductor. This has been a tough one, but this has worked nicely. So we short the SMHs uh, in the 116s. 120.71 was the uh, all-time high. And uh, it pulled back to 104.93. So you can see, once again, we've got this arch formation. In this particular case, you can see what I call the plumb line. In other words, on the 24th of April, that 120.71 high created the same number of bars on the left to the way it was on the right when uh, yesterday it took out that left side low and filled the gap. So going from 120 to 104, that's 16 points. That's a, that's a big percentage. But it has gone 50% from the $80.71 low in December. So this is a remarkable move to the upside in yeah. the semiconductors. But I think now it's, this is a big digestive phase, and I think this is where I, I'm, I'm waiting to see whether the billing in the semiconductor industry, which has been weak all the time, hasn't even been increasing uh, since, uh, at least I haven't got information yet, and on April or May. So I'm waiting to find out. My suspicion is that there will be uh, an increase in billing at some point, but there's a big divergence between the price and the reality of that billing. So this is what we're seeing some digestive phase. And we're still long some stocks. Oh, and the dollar is remarkably is held quite well through this whole thing. It's holding at 97.52. Um, what I had drawn is, just to make make it clear during my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, so it's just a nice visual. The, Dow, the dollar has been in a very nice up channel. Look at that, and huh? it, yeah. yeah, it remains in that up channel. But if you look at go, uh, gold, gold broke out of its down channel and um, so this is the first time it's broken that down channel. So I'm really watching this relationship very closely. Why? Because um, the, the dollar holding well is one thing, but I had thought that if there was going to be a dollar, a lot of weakness, then we should see wheat and the, the agricultural area start to, um, to move up. So the dollar is holding nicely. So I have to watch it closely because if gold is moving higher, you usually get the counter relationship between gold and the dollar. So I'm going to watch to see if the dollar starts to pull back here. Because look at this huge move in wheat. It might just be short squeeze, but it's the same thing in soybeans. Look at that. Nice bounce. That's the same thing in corn. So this relationship to me now is going to become much more important because um, we are still long the dollar for over a year now. It's held well. But I think this, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to get some evidence to say uh, it. Are the, are the agriculture is going to really move so the commodities move higher? Will that mean that gold will actually participate and actually break out to the upside? Will the dollar start to weaken or will the dollar maintain its strength? So this is a very important period right now. And we're waiting for another pullback in the market to get back into some of the long stocks that we had. And folks, the best way to get Basel's newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to the newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right there. You can just hit subscribe. Month, three months, six months, a year, all with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Baz, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.